everybody, Arizona Kid here. The ATV's hot. I literally put it on jack stands, let it run, turned it off for not even, I don't know, two minutes after it ran for 20 miles because I put it on stilts. And uh, now it will, uh, it won't stay running. So here, watch. Uh, can my son hold the camera real quick? Don't touch any buttons. And even if you... Oh, now it's his son. Yeah. That's it. So, it'll probably cool off. Sorry, my hand's in the way. It'll probably cool off and start up again. But it shouldn't get hot like that and just turn it off and then kill itself. So, I'm going to uh, do the fuel pump. So, uh, yeah. Hey everybody, uh, me again. Uh, as you saw this little beginning video, obviously the machine's not working. So, uh, long story short, we're gonna do the fuel pump on it. I still have it and all that. I'm gonna uh, tear it down and you guys already know about taking off the covers and all. I'm gonna get that all taken off, get the camera closer. It's kind of late in the afternoon. Maybe I'll get a, another light or something so we can see on top of here and uh, get down to the basics. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to run it tonight and see if it, it is the fix or not, but like once again, you guys will find out if it's not the fix. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, everybody, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the light's good enough. I don't, I don't think you guys can see my face. and That doesn't matter if you can see my face or not. But uh, this piece right here has to come off. I, I know up here there's a, a line that goes to the breather. Probably could grab some needle nose for that to get it off, but gotta pull that off. Gotta take the fuel thing off, and there's an electrical clip right here, which uh, I think you just squeeze on it and it pops off. I don't think any of it's really rocking science for anybody to get off. And then, yeah, as I'm saying that I can't get it off, but I, I do know that this comes up and this little, which I didn't see this clip right here. I don't know what that's connected to or it's just a relay there. I know this has to come out of here. Maybe it slides out. Because I was led to believe there's a uh, There was something under it, but I don't see anything under it, so maybe that's a uh, horse, 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 horse wash or BS. Uh, no, nah, things on there. All right, so I might want to get to that anyways, but I can't figure out what this does right here. Is this is connected to something or? what it is right here this one i just don't want to yank on stuff you know what i mean anybody understand what i'm talking about i'm not the guy who starts ripping stuff apart so let's see if i can get this breather hose off at least nope Maybe get some pliers for that. All right, I'm gonna shut up and I might cut out a little bit here and there when I'm grabbing tools, but I'm gonna get some tools. All right, 
see you with this hose off. I don't know if you guys can even see that. I don't know. Yeah, you can't see real close what I'm doing, but you still got an idea of what I'm doing. That's that's good enough. I mean, I can try to zoom in if you guys want to zoom in. We can do that. So you guys can kind of see what's going on there better. Hopefully my hand's not in the way. And it's gonna probably be in the way. Oh, I didn't say this earlier. You guys can hear me. It did start back up again. So it took till this morning, but I, it, it starts again. But uh, I'm just gonna change the fuel pump out. I'm not gonna play that game of starting and not starting. You know what I mean? So, but it did start. I guess I didn't say that in the intro. So it's still pulling that. It wants to start up again thing. So then there's the little electric clip. This fuel thing, I hate playing with these because if you break them, uh, you're screwed. <laughs> you have to buy a whole new line. I don't know if you can buy that uh, that plastic thing separately. And I can't remember. I think you push it in to pull backwards. That's the fuel. Yeah, I I want this loosened before I pop that because that's the fuel line. Shouldn't have fuel really in it, but this is what's giving me. Because I swear I've never taken this off, but the all the videos I watched, it's uh, there's something underneath this you're supposed to unscrew, but I can't pull this off because all this stuff's connected to it crazy like. And I don't think that's a plug. I think that's just something holding it there. Yeah, it is. That's just holding that there. It's not. Yeah. You're not part of that. You're just held there. Probably the same with this one. Yep. Just like it's a, it's a location to hold it, to be in the way. <laughs> Hate to say it that way, but it's just a relay up there. These little clips that hold it there. Anyways, I don't know if that one's in the way to get this off or not now, because that was not sliding out before. Another clip here. I'm probably gonna get all this off and realize I didn't have to take it all off. Anybody ever done that before? I go take it all off and go, I didn't have to take all that off. Uh, yep, there is a nut right there. So they weren't lying. But when he did in his video, he didn't take this all off. At least he didn't show taking this all off, taking this clip off, this clip off. He didn't show that. He just made it look like this is already off. And I probably didn't catch that in the video that he already had this all loosened. So there's a pop clip there, pop clip there. And there's another one on this one, but it's a little bit more harder to, to get to. You got, you got to get these out of the way. And you can feel it underneath. Where you see my hand over here, I can feel it underneath it. So I know what I'm trying to get up. There it goes. And I got lucky I didn't break any of them. So there, so now that's up. This will slide out. And then there's the screw he was talking about. And uh, I don't know. I'm going to guess it's a 10. Going to guess it's a 10. Put my tool 
was right here. So looking for a ten. Oh, grab, grab a thirteen instead. It's got to be a ten. Called it ten millimeter. So. See if I have an extension here, or at least a reducer with an extension. This isn't my best tool set I've had in here, as you guys can probably tell. If you guys wonder why the video jumped ahead, it's because my daughter was leaving with her Jeep and it was running. So 10 millimeter, got this nut out, nut, bolt, sorry, bolt. And if I understand correctly, down here, they're just like, uh, you, the, the side here, I don't know if you can see this one, we have those rubber grommets when you take your side things off. They're just rubber pushed in. I understand that this is how the rest of this is. Oh, on this side you can't see, because you guys probably can't see me talk anymore. Let me zoom back out now that we got a lot of that taken care of. Or, no, nah, we'll leave that going. If I zoom out, you guys, aren't gonna see it. So we're gonna leave it zoomed in. So, uh, you gotta, you, you guys, you gotta undo your spark plug. So you, you just pull the spark plug, not the spark plug out, just the wire off the spark plug. So, whoops, I just did that. Why is it so hard to get off? Because uh, this thing is connected to the spark plug. So you gotta take your spark plug off. And this should just pop up like it is. Real easy. But now, I didn't take that fuel line off like I said. So, so this is loose. And it's just gonna fold over that way a little bit in a minute. But I gotta get that, uh, that fuel off too. So. Here's the spark plug wire. This is this real stiff wires to lay over. But I think that's gonna end up blocking your guys' view. <laughs> that's not good, but I can't, there's no other way to do it. I'm not gonna take this all off just to lay it over so you guys have a better view unfortunately but i could try to get the camera uh, uh what's this hose oh that's another breather hose hold on maybe i can spin it without that breather hose on it okay i can it was just that breather hose holding it up so that does fall over let me see how that looks this breather hose right here was hanging it up so let me see how that looks now. Well, that's, you guys gotta be able to see that. So here we go. So I just gotta still get this fuel line off it. All right, I think I know what it is. All right, you guys see that? Use pliers. Boy, that took forever. Long video. Once you guys see it all. I was correct in guessing there is fuel still in it. I know this has got to come off of here because you got to reuse this little piece on the new one. So don't break that. It's a very important little piece. 
pain in the ass, but very important. There is a rubber, rubber grommet in there. Don't let that fall out. So. I'll try to, I might get a wire right here and set this up out of the way. Edit some out guys as much as possible. So you guys aren't falling asleep, but sometimes it's just good to see everything. You know what I mean? So you know what's going on. Now I know this has to spin, uh, I believe counterclockwise to get this off. Uh, it's got a number up there. That's the part number. It sure don't match the part number I got. So, you know what? You What's know, kind of nice about that, though? Let me see real quick. That says, got a such small writing and I got such bad eyes, made in USA. The one I got is made in China. That's kind of crazy. I would have figured it would have said made in uh, Japan or something, but it says made in USA. Well, we're gonna put a China one on, on, on it. I probably got the biggest hammer in the world, but uh, yeah, I know you got to take these and uh, tap them, so. It's not moving. Is it better to push down and turn it? comes off now there is like a lip right here this thing's filthy by the way let me get some paper towel I should have probably I'm in a big hurry to get this done because I'm just wanting to try to run it in my garage tonight without getting yelled at that it's too loud but I probably should have blew this off before I did this, so you don't get dirt in your fuel tank and all that. So, something to think about when you do yours. Maybe clean it first a little bit. Some brake cleaner or something. This is all real time other than the, the part I'm gonna delete with my daughter, I'm sure. So this is giving you guys all how long it really takes to do it. And this should just uh, not wanna lift out. <laughs> should come out, there it goes. I know it's got like a rubber seal on it. But that is in there tight, there it goes. So there's the rubber seal right there. And when the guy did it, a bunch of fuel came out, so I can't wait for that to happen. So, good thing for a bunch of paper towel, right? Getting this down here to catch in. I'll try to drain as much of it back out as I can in there. But I know it's got the, the float. And that's where you're going to have to tip it for gas to come out. Because that float, I got it though. And some gas came out on my hand, not too bad. All right.
Uh, sorry, I just set that out there. It's kind of interesting to see inside your fuel tank and see all the gas. But uh, all right, get the new one out. Assuming it looks all the same, this rubber grommet or rubber seal, I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't, it didn't come with even a new one, I don't believe. Nope, doesn't have a new one. But everything looks the same pretty much on it. A lot of guys I saw on other videos, just to let you guys know. Uh, let me get this off before I start blabbing again. rubber band and then a twist tie. You guys can probably see what I'm talking about because I have the camera faced here. I'm just getting all the plastic off the new pump, okay? You can't see me, that's all I'm trying to do. And you would think it'd be easier than what it is. So, at least the China one was well packaged. Can't yell at them for that. So there it is on it. So it has a, it has this lip right here with an arrow. So I don't know if you guys can see that in the camera. See how it has this different shape here? The top of your gas tank has an arrow. This needs to go on the arrow. So, and everybody in things were complaining, it's too big. Uh, they squat, okay? So don't be flipping out that it's too long. You push it down and it squats. So this heads up for that, because that was a big thing I saw in all the, the videos that people were returning pumps because they didn't know that they squatted. So this heads up on that one, all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know if that goes there. These are supposed to go there. These wires. Alrighty. Let's go for it, eh? Stop hesitating. What's our famous saying these days? Send it. Sending it ain't working. That's all correct. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. See something on the old one. Well, everybody, I, I walked away. Remember how I just said that whole uh, it isn't a, a tall or it's too tall baloney? Well, it's 
too tall or something. You see that? It's like, uh, it's literally like, I don't know what I want to say there. And that's as far as it goes down. It's literally like a half an inch, not there. And going and looking at the other one, it squats more than that. So this is the wrong one. Yay, isn't that outstanding? Alrighty, well, I'm going to, uh, get this out of here so it can dry. And uh, it's probably unreturnable now <laughs> since I just dunked it in fuel. You might want to measure it before you just go dunk it in fuel. Wow, that's crazy. It's literally just the housing. Oh, oh, I knew I was going to eventually do that. There went fuel. When they come out here, they're going to get super high. So, uh, I almost wish I could just take the pump out of, and I probably could. The pump out of this housing right here right here and put it in the other one but uh probably not gonna do that no my luck it wouldn't work right or some of them jumbo but uh yeah we're gonna have to order another one so i'm gonna cut this video guys we'll be back but uh that part number i gave you guys which is one six seven hundred hr3 a21 is not right for the honda foreman now this isn't the foreman rubicon this is just a honda foreman i'm wondering if this one is for the honda rubicon foreman so all right i'll get back to you guys thanks for watching